landed on how to make a garden quick and easy and these starter trays are about five bucks at the hardware store it comes with a lid and the tray I filled in the dirt I think I paid like three bucks for a big bag of dirt that took care of all three of these and I labeled each one which I did cilantro put about two or three seeds in each one they're coming up this is about day three or day four. I got cucumbers over here, just so you guys know what those look like. Tomatoes coming out over here. I'll probably separate these um, if I need to and can break up the dirt. Over here you got zucchini and other stuff. So this one's not ready yet. It was done two days later, carrots and radishes and stuff like that. So that's how you get that part going. Now we're gonna go and water them. I've only watered them about twice, once every like four days or so, if over that. Here to the garden. Every year I make it just a little bit bigger. I made these a few years ago for my kids and it like says their name on it and stuff. I think I made it out of cement because I was tiling my house and I had all this extra mortar. Put it in a shoe box and then I carved it on top so it's about four inches thick and it made it look a little chilly willy. Wrote their names. They're about that thick but like I did I just took you can see the shoe box shape filled it up with mortar. I think you can get a bag of mortar for like five bucks and over here I actually used clay when I made my garden a little bit bigger. I think about that, I, under about two inches, you can see all the dirt pile. Under about two inches is just solid clay. So what I did is mix it up with water and I mixed in the clay pretty much over here on the grass and I built this little plaque thing and I put it all in clay and it's you can see it's inside the garden and not outside. So, and then I built this little guy here, put some blue marbles in there. This is actually a, um, uh, baby back rib bone <laughs> So what I did is I put the baby back rib in his mouth carved him out and I got these little plaque sections here. You guys could see what these are and I'm gonna put these in place I'm show you guys what this is gonna look like But I'm waiting for it to dry obviously when this dries up It's gonna last about who knows three four or five years or so. It's clay So it's really not gonna get damaged, but it's a really cool thing when the kids come up here to the garden and it's just an idea over here obviously i just dug up the grass and i threw in a, about three four inches of topsoil i think i used about 10 bags or so and mixed it all in and every year we get a great garden sometimes i add chicken poop or guano which is bat poop and you could just mix that in the soil your garden will look amazing after you do that if you don't put anything your garden will be all right but obviously if you want it to have nutrients or there's other stuff on the market that you can use that's all natural and stuff like that so that's about it. Just showing off my garden and my beer over there. Just kidding. But that's about it. Just a little cool idea on what to do for you guys. And I could have sculpted many things if I, I wanted transplant to. transplant everything in about two weeks or so. Put all the little seeds in there and water it every few, or few days, three, four, or five days, unless it's going to rain. The natural rain is much better for your garden. And this is something that the kids will really enjoy.